everybody. We knew um, the two biggest keys in this game were going to be defensive transition, and we're going to be the rebound. And, and um, we, did, we did a good job. You know, we played a lot of guys early, and we did a good job as the game settled in to, to do a better job of taking away transition. And um, but the rebounding, the timely second chance points uh, were a difference. And 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 we have we have no. Um, we never had matchups in this game that that you could feel comfortable saying, okay, we can guard this guy by himself. Or, but we, you know, a couple of times we left a block of shots, so we leave Olasini open for a, for a rebound. We've got to, we we we've just got to do our job. And as simple as that sounds, it's not that simple. So you just have to you have to stay in there. You know, if you're digging on the ball, get back to your man. Um, block out, all right. And 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 everybody's got to be involved in the rebounding. And um, we didn't navigate their screening as well as we needed to a couple times in, in our coverages and, and whether we're man or zone, and, and we just gotta do, we've just got to do a better job of getting over the top of screens and controlling the ball better. Uh, offensively, uh, disappointed in our recognition. And, and um, we had we, we, there were too many times we're trying to make a play at the rim, and we're not getting, we're not getting, we're not getting credit for it. I think they had eight free throws before we ever went to the foul line, right? I mean, it just, and, and um, I'm being told we're jumping into people. Well, I, I wish we were. You know, I wish I was teaching that. And, and um, um, we've got to do a better job of being able to create, but it's not as much about that. We get fouled when we're not looking to get fouled. We get fouled on a back cut. We get fouled on an offensive board. We get fouled on a transition drive. We get fouled on a... Uh, a cut under, a quick pass, or something like that. And we were we when we when we start worrying about about um, the rim more than just touching the paint and getting it kicked, we're not as good. And Troy's recognition of shooting tonight and some of the shots are, are back down around underneath the basket, <coughs> not as good. You know, it's he's it's, it's, he's a, he's improved his fundamentals tremendously, and so he's got to use those. He's got to utilize that the right way. Yogi missed numerous opportunities to take open shots. And at times looking to <coughs> looking to make something there, it's not there. We don't. We don't. Um, um, we're, we're no and Cody aren't there. Just throw the ball into them. So we got to be creative in, in how we how we play through that pain and then still get to the foul line. So the foul difference, the free, the free throw shooting difference was huge, huge, huge. But the second chance points thing and then and then to me when I'm watching we're watching film we're gonna realize we had recognition of, of not um, we moved the ball pretty good and a couple times we tried to take it down the middle. They want you to play a game as all big teams do. They want you to play a game three point line and in. Okay, where they can where they don't have to over help and they can use their length. We've got to play the game outside the three point line. That doesn't mean we have to shoot threes all the time, but it does mean that we've got to get the game moving. And um, and um, we did that at times. We didn't do it at other times. Unfortunately, uh, they got too many easy baskets in the guts of the game, and we had trouble getting back from that. So both teams were going for their 20th win. They got theirs. We want to go get ours on, on Saturday now, and we have to bounce back in a hurry and um, get ready for a team that's extremely tough, extremely physical. We knew this was this kind of week, and, um, and um, we're not going to magically um, – Match up better, so we've just got to match up smarter, and we've and we've got to match up and, and, and just do our job. Like I said, when when that shot comes up, and, um, and, and keep people off the glass best we can. Tom, have you seen any recurring themes throughout the last 10, 11 games, or has, has it been different things in different games? Well. I, I still think the one thing, if there's a recurring theme, we get disappointed at times we're not making shots. And that, that, that's a maturity thing. And, and um, uh, every, every young player goes through it to a degree, and then you have to grow out of it. And, and um, tonight it wasn't as much that. It was recognition of what was there. What was it? We're very conscious of moving the ball. And, and, and uh, our, our drive sometimes... Um, you know, we're trying to make something happen. Yogi's trying to create things for his team, and sometimes he's going to shoot the ball. And and um, we're so cognizant of that ball being spaced and, and getting in that paint that every once in a while, you, you know, our big thing is is always been 
uh, one dribble, one dribble sooner, right? Well, be ready to shoot, you know. And then, and then when they close at your hard shot making, we spend so much time on that, and we just gotta get that recognition down. And tonight it wasn't as much about one more pass as being ready to shoot the ball. I mean, there, th this is a team that you gotta get some assists against, and and uh, this needed to be a night where we needed to catch the shoots. But it's different things, Bob, and and. Um, and uh, some of it is just, and you know, Hunter comes back and we lose Colin, you know, but these little type of deals, we don't have any room for error on that front line. And, um, and that's why Jordan Fuchs came in, he didn't do a bad job at all. And, and um, we have to play stand in that position, we went small at times, so we just gotta keep being creative around the basket. But the bottom line is we gotta, I would say that if there's one thing that hurts us, it's, it's when we're giving up second chance points. There are uh, 20 missed layups and dunks. Do you know what caused that? Was that something offensively or just Iowa's defense? Well, you're, you're ahead of me on, on looking at the uh, looking at the numbers. I don't have the, uh, you know, been, I haven't had a chance to look at that yet. So um, some we just point blank missed. I do remember those. And um, um, some there was a lot of, there was a lot of physicality around the basket. And so I've got to watch the film to see what that really looks like. But um, Again, you have the privilege of being able to look at the numbers, you know, and you got that down, you walk in, I don't have that down yet, so I have to really watch the film before I can really assess that better. I'm sorry. What was the message being sent to the players by the six and going to you? Um, well, I'm not sure it was a message as much as the five guys in the end of the game need to come in and, 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 and deal with it together and, and honor as a starter. So I'd love to tell you that it was some deep subliminal message, but it really wasn't. Yeah, Tom, and you probably address this a little bit about the question. You, know, um, you lost uh, seven, I think, of the last 11. How do you turn this around? There's a lot of state. We get ready for our next practice, and we get ready to play Michigan State. And we don't stay locked into numbers of the past or numbers of the future. We stay locked into what's, what's present. You know, I don't think you'd expect me as a coach to walk in there and talk about all talk about all that, right? Yeah. So, it, uh, I don't want to put it in my head. My head is to make sure we go and we're, we got better. We've had a really, really good week, less than a week, I guess, of practice, and really got better with it. It just didn't show as many times as it needed to tonight, unfortunately. And 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 we'll just turn right back around and get ready to do it again. That's the key. Forced to play in the half court, it seems like there's a lot of standing around until maybe the final 10 seconds, and then there's a sense of urgency. No, I don't agree with that. We're running, we're running actions to get movement. You know, our chin action, and um, we're trying to get the court space. You know, I think when you got a big, when you're playing against big teams, um, you got to play through those corners, okay? And then it's a matter of just getting some movement, getting those guys. Well, they they want to stand and 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 protect one another, okay? So, so there's got to be movement. Now, when we're standing, that's not good. But, but some of those actions are just to keep it moving, and 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 then be able to create something when we're in a driving kick. So, I'm sure there were a couple of those that that uh, looked that way to me. But that's not by design. Design is is uh, making sure the balls, move, especially if we're shooting it too quick. But there were times now we didn't shoot it quick enough. So we'll look back and see what we can learn from them. Jeff. Loss at Northwestern and the loss at home to Iowa. Two Big Ten losses at home in a row. Is there a frustration level with those happening? We didn't play Northwestern at home. No, I'm talking about going back to Purdue. So that's two. <coughs> okay. okay. Is there what now? Is there a frustration level with the last two weeks as far as the results? What I didn't know. No, we just we just want to keep getting better. I mean, I'm not I'm not big on frustration. I think I think you pretty much better go out of frustration once you get past the fifth or sixth grade. I, mean, I really do. And and I think. Um, urgency, anger, energy, all those are different buzzwords. Frustration is not a word I would use. We, we, we're practicing really hard, really well. Uh, we're tuned in. Um, these guys want to win. They're playing extremely hard. We're playing against, um, we, we don't have, especially the, the, the size teams, <coughs> whether it be Purdue and whether it be, um, we, don't have, we don't have much room for error in those situations. And we go down the list of what we don't have, whether it be Devin or Colin or those type of things. We just don't. So we've got to be, we've got to be that much more. The, you know, the hustle game, the blockout game, those kind of things, got to be really good. So now I'm not big on the frustration thing. Can I ask a question, Mike? Um, I was kind of going to piggyback on that. A lot of boots in here and said that's 19% of the frustration of the fan base. You know.
know what, I'm really kind of concerned about the team. I, I think that would be the most important thing to me is that um, um, making sure that we continue to play as hard as we can possibly play, to play with energy, to play with efficiency. And um, that's, pretty much, that's pretty much where the thoughts go. The thoughts go with your team and what, what you need to do to make them better. That's where I, mean, that's where I would be, uh, that's where I would put my attention. Anybody else? Go ahead. Um, obviously, you don't want to look past Michigan State on Saturday. But so then don't ask. Right? We're not going to look past Michigan State. Mm -hmm. all right, we're all about getting ready for the next game. And that's, that's what the focus would be. Okay, well, can okay. I rephrase my question then? Go ahead, sure. From game to game, especially this season, how much stock do you put into momentum from game to game? Uh, not very, not very much. I think it's it's a matter of um, um, rhythm and um, uh, is your energy level high? Things like that, ours was. I mean, we, 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 that wasn't what did it. What did it is they were a little tougher on the glass and, and at times they were, they got, they got, uh, what's, how many, how many layups and dunks did they miss? You have those numbers, I don't have yeah. Oh, you just counted ours? That's good. Um, um, I don't think they missed that many. So I think to me, they, they probably made more easy baskets. That, that, that's what has got a lot to do with momentum in a game is, is who's getting the most easy baskets. And they got more than we did tonight. So that, that um, that's usually how most games work. And so that's the biggest thing. Anybody else? Okay, thank you.